Let's make our blocks mineable and drop something. Alright, we find ourselves back in Jello once more, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding the possibility of actually mining our blocks and them having to drop something as well. And for this we need a new folder. Inside of the resources folder we want to right click new directory called data. And inside of there we want to make a new directory called tutorial mod or whatever your mod ID might be. To actually have our blocks drop something we need to add loot tables. So in the tutorial mod folder we're going to right click new directory called loot underscore tables. And then inside of there very important we want a new directory called blocks. Very important this is written correctly. So once again this is the correct folder structure data tutorial mod loot underscore tables blocks. This time Plural. And let's actually start with the citrine block JSON file. Now I will be copying this over. However, I will show you a great resource. So first of all, a new file called citrine underscore block JSON. The file has to be exactly named like the block. So that's very important. And the contents look like this. So you can see we're basically having a pool where we're going to roll one and there's one entry and then one citrine block is going to drop. And the great resource is Missode GitHub IO loot table because here you can basically set all of the insanity for your loot table. So for example, we can go for the for a block loot table and then here we can define, okay, what is going to drop? Is it going to be a droop? Is it going to be something else? No, we're just wanting an item to drop. And what item do we want to drop? Well, maybe we want to have it drop a shovel and you can see then this changes to well, a shovel over here. Maybe we wanted to drop our custom item, then we can say tutorial mod colon citrine underscore block. Then it won't have this, but you can see it actually does change it. So it changes both the mod ID here and also whatever is basically dropping. And you can add all sorts of functions, conditions, all of that craziness. So this is a great resource for generating some loot tables. Now, another great resource is, of course, always vanilla. So in the external libraries, you can open this and once again go all the way to a net Minecraft project that and so on and so on and so forth. If we open this in the data folder, Minecraft, and you can see right here, loot underscore tables, blocks, and every single block that has a loot table is present here. So you were like, well, okay, how does a brown mushroom work? Well, there you go. That's how it works. Uh, how does maybe a, you know, um, a bubble coral? There you go. So you can look at all of this craziness. Every single vanilla thing is in here. I cannot stress enough how valuable this is, because if you want something that's exactly like in vanilla, just copy it from here, right? Go in here, copy this, put it in here, change what you need to change, right? Change the name of whatever block you wanted to drop. And there you go. That is all you need to do. That's all you need to have. Both of those resources are pretty much enough for you to be able to do almost anything with loot tables that you might want. Right, I'm also going to add the citrine ore and the deep slate citrine ore. Those look a little bit different. So if I go into this, you can see it's a little more complicated, right? Because it also has a silk touch alternative over here. If the tool that the player is mining this block with has silk touch attached to it, then of course we want the actual block to drop. And if that's not the case, we want the raw citrine to drop. Now, please note that you can also look this up in the loot tables in the external libraries. So if I go to, for example, coal or copper ore, you can see it is pretty much exactly the same. So once again, keep in mind, everything is available to you in the external libraries. It is incredibly important for you to basically look stuff up there and it's a great resource. Now, you might think that this is it, but this is actually not it. You still will not be able to get things from your blocks because we still need to basically tell the game with what your block can be mined with. And that is in the data folder. We want to make a new directory called Minecraft. You might have heard of it. And inside of there, it's very important that this directory is exactly correct. So data, Minecraft, new directory called tags. Inside of that, new directory called blocks. Inside of that, once again, a new directory called mineable. And inside of this mineable directory, there are going to be four JSON files. I will be copying this over. Everything is, of course, available to you in the description below in a GitHub repository. And I'm going to be copying this over. You can see they are named Axe, Ho, Pickaxe, and Shovel. What's incredibly important is that those four are inside of the mineable folder. And then we're going to have three more. That's going to be the needs underscore diamond tool, needs underscore iron tool, and needs underscore stone tool. This is inside of the blocks. So I'm just going to copy those over as well. And you can see those four are in the mineable folder. And these three are in the blocks folder. Incredibly important that these are done correctly and they are all written correctly. They have to be in the data folder Minecraft, tags, blocks, mineable, these four, and then blocks, and then these three. This is how it should look like. Make sure that this is all done correctly. All of the three blocks are just inside of the pickaxe JSON file because all three of them can be mined with a JSON. 
with a pickaxe in this case, what's incredibly important here is that if you add values here and they do not exist or there's a typo in here, right? So for example, I have a typo in here then the entire pickaxe JSON file will no longer work, meaning that nothing can be mined with a pickaxe. Because if there's one typo in the pickaxe JSON, the entire tag basically doesn't work anymore. So if this is the case, please double, triple, quadruple check that everything here is written correctly and there is no typo and you're not referencing a block that doesn't yet exist. Same thing goes in the needs X tool over here. In our case, I just have added the citrine and the deep slate ore to the iron tool. And then in the diamond tool, how about we add the citrine block right there. So we're just going to do the following. So we're just going to say this is the citrine underscore citrine underscore block. So then the citrine block can only ever be mined with a diamond tool and then the others can be mined with an iron tool. So if I recall correctly, if we do not have this added to anything, so if our block is in neither the needs stone, needs iron or needs diamond tool JSON file, then it can be mined with all of them, including wood. Right, and because this will come up, I know this, if you want to add a block that needs netherite to be mined in the data folder, you're gonna have to add the fabric folder right here. Inside of there, once again, tags, blocks, and then this is actually going to need a new file called needs pool underscore level underscore four dot json and then the contents of this look exactly like this and now instead of here this is where you basically define that it needs a netherite tool so let's just for the sake of argument let's put the deep slate in here so then the normal citrine ore is going to be mineable with iron and above the citrine block is going to be mineable with diamond and above and then the deep slate is going to be mineable with netherite and above because you can add custom levels, but we're not going to actually look at that because that has not actually changed from 1.19.2 to 1.19.3. Regardless though of this, this is basically what you want. And now all of our blocks will be mineable with a pickaxe of different tiers. So let's just jump into the game and see if it works. All right, so we find ourselves in Minecraft and the citrine block should be mineable with the iron pickaxe. So this looks pretty pretty good and it is not going to drop anything okay maybe i, I misremembered uh, this is going to be yeah exactly so we can mine the citrine ore with the iron with the iron pickaxe the diamond pickaxe is going to be this one there you go and then this can only be mined with the netherite and we can actually see this so if we try to mine this with the diamond pickaxe it does not work so this is exactly what we want to right this is exactly the way that we set this up absolutely perfectly and it drops everything that we want to drop so that is pretty freaking cool when testing this, of course, don't forget to actually be in survival mode. Otherwise, you're going to break them immediately. That is, of course, one thing that you have to keep in mind. Other than that, that is going to be it. All of the JSON files are in the description below in the GitHub repository. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. So, yeah.